To download Rats and Blazer Studio, go to ratson.com. Click on the download button and then install it. When we're inside Rats and Blazer Studio, we want to make a new project. The project is just a basic Blazor server app. Give the project a name, a theme, and a directory. Then we can go and connect to a database. Just find the server name, the credentials, and then choose the database that you want to log into. We then choose which tables should be scaffolded, then choose which UI CRUD functionality that should be available, and also scaffold the models. We now have a full functional CRUD CMS, so now let's go and secure it with some authentication. Click on the security tab and we will use identity. We should then set up our mail server to receive mails when we create the user. When that is scaffolded, we hit a login page now instead of the front page. In here we can say sign up and create a new user. We then receive an email to activate our account. So now we're able to log in with our newly created account into our CMS. We're now able to manage both users and roles with the new account. New users from here on should of course not be able to do this. And it's from here you can make your own roles and also how new users should be handled. If you don't like the dark theme, then just go and change the theme. And if you don't like the default themes, then just go and create your own theme. When you want to add new rats and components or HTML tags, just go to the toolbox and drag and drop them. You can then create events in the design view, because in Rats and Blazor Studio you don't have to code.